There are five methods to provision a new client or endpoint using our backup online backup software. The first method adds a new client using the web manager, downloading an installer immediately. This method is most useful if you're a full service MSP provisioning new clients yourself. Log into the web manager as admin or group manager, select accounts and then new user or endpoint. Select a group for your new user, enter the username and password and any other information you might want to maintain and then click save. The web manager builds an installer especially for this user and you can download it immediately. Let's download and install this one so you can see how that looks. Let's run the downloaded exe file. Okay, it's installed. Now it's asking for an encryption key. You can generate a statistically perfect key here, or you can enter your own encryption key. For this demo, I won't save the emergency key file. You should print this report. It contains all the info needed to reinstall this endpoint and do a disaster recovery in case of a catastrophe. Now let's set up the first backup set. You can select files two ways. On the left side, select by application and file group, and on the right side, select by drive, folder, and file. If this computer had Exchange, SQL, or any other data types that we support, you could also select them. Now let's verify the schedule we want to use. Okay, that's it. It's all installed and set up, so let's do a backup now. Okay, the backup has started. The software is now selecting files. It encrypts and compresses them, removes file names and folder names, repackaging, and it digitally signs each file. It sends them to the server where they're again validated by the digital signature. The server is making sure the backups haven't been altered since the client packaged them and that they indeed come from the endpoint the server expects. Okay, now the backup's done. Let's restore it. Here's the folder I just backed up. I'll delete all the files. For the restore, I've entered search criteria that will select all the files in the most recent backup. That's the default. Here they are. I'll select them and start the restore. Here they are, all coming back. And it's finished. That was a restore. Restores of all of our other data types work the same. Exchange, SQL, System State, Active Directory, VMware, Hyper-V, and all the others we support. Method 2 can create a generic installer not associated with a specific endpoint. You can use this portable installer for all clients, but they must have an account with the server first. Log in as admin or group manager, select Setup, Customize Client Installer, scroll to the bottom and click Build Client Installer. Enter the file name for your installer, select an icon and a software edition, and click the button. The new installer is created, and you can download it here. Method 3 can be used by your end users themselves to install or reinstall the endpoint software. To use this method, log in with the end user's credentials or ask your end user to do it. Select Reinstall Software from the menu and then just click here to download it. This method is good when end users lose their entire computer and need to do a disaster recovery. Method 4 uses the Partners Portal to build a generic installer that includes a special wizard that asks for user information and then creates an account on the server automatically. It can be used to install all accounts and does not require the user first have an account with the server. Log into your partner portal, select Client Customization, select the Registration Wizard tab and turn on the Registration Wizard. The Registration Wizard adds these six prompts to the front of your client installer. Once entered, the Registration Wizard will create an account on the server and install the client software ready to run. You can customize these screens including the graphics. Then click Build Installer 
enter the requested information, and then build. You can download this installer immediately, and it's also automatically hosted in your Portal Accounts file sharing system, where it's assigned a link that you can then distribute to others so they can download it and install it. Method 5 is customer initiated and self-service. Your users can go to a website, click a Buy Now link, and pay online with a credit card or PayPal. Your server will charge the credit card or PayPal for the first month's service and then set it up for recurring billing once a month thereafter. It creates a new account and a new custom installer and it deploys the installer. Later it bills the client's credit card or PayPal account automatically. Here's what online ordering looks like. That's it. The card has been charged, you have a new customer, and the installer can be downloaded now. Well, that's it for this demo. I'm Rob Cosgrove. Thank you very much for watching. Call us if we can do anything to help you.